B. Smith and John Layfield, along with CPA and market analyst Dan Geltrude. Gary B., to you first. What's really going on to drive the market down in the way that stocks fell this week? I was watching the Dow Transports, a real clear indicator of maybe how healthy the economy is. They fell 8% this week, Gary B. It was the biggest drop for a week in over seven years. Well, you know, I think, Dagan, we just look at the topic and segments that you've talked about so far today. You know, uh, Tracy mentioned not only the Fed, but you have China. You have, it looks like, uh, in one regard, some of the economic statistics are showing uh, maybe a slowing of the economy. You have so much worry. And then you throw in this heavy volatility. I mean, I've seen volatile days in my 30 odd years in the market, but not so many 800, 600, 700 point swings. It's enough to rattle the longest of long term investors. And that's what I think is behind this. Just there's so many potential bombshells out there that no one feels secure right now. Well, yesterday, uh, John, it was blamed. They blamed Peter Navarro being on the, uh, the TV yesterday morning saying that after 90 days, um, we're going to hike tariffs if we can't get a trade deal together. And when somebody who's not even in a cabinet position is blamed for a market route like the one we saw yesterday, it's almost like investors are searching for a reason and trying to search for some something behind the volatility. I think you're right. It's great to be on set with you again. You do, you do such a wonderful job. So many years of you and Gary B with bulls and bears. It's, it's, such, it's such a great, yeah, that's right, I'm just sucking up to you to get, <laughs> to get more questions thrown to me. But I, I'm going to continue sucking up. I think you're right. Look, the market's not trading on fundamentals anymore. The jobs report was down a little bit. You had 170,000 jobs uh, per month the last three months, which is not bad. It's just the lowest it's been in the past year. So the, the economy does seem to be slowing. But the biggest thing is these trade issues. It looked like we were going to get some type of truce. Now it looks like we're not only not going to get a truce, but we're going to get a ratchet up of these trade wars uh, in 90 days. And I think that's a real concern to the market. But what also about, Dan, about the Federal Reserve and what the Federal Reserve is doing? Because that article that Tracy referenced, that the Fed's going to take a wait and see approach moving into the new year and isn't on course to hike interest rates maybe every quarter, that's what turned the market around on Thursday. So I've pointed to that and how the Fed is removing massive amounts of money from the financial system as they're trying to reduce their balance sheet. Is that really what's, or is it a combination of Fed and and trade. I, I think it is a combination, but it, when you look at what the Fed is doing, if they're going to take their foot off the accelerator when it comes to rates, here's where the danger lies. We have some indications that we could be sliding into a recession. The Fed has very little room to move with the rates being so low. How far can we go down to try to stimulate the economy if we're really going to be on a slide? Well, by the way, I'll push back on that, though, Dan. People in Washington for years and years and years and years have been saying it should be on the fiscal side. It shouldn't be. You shouldn't have so much pressure being put on the central bank to juice the economy. How about making tax cuts permanent, for example? I'm just throwing that out. But I, just the rate not being low enough, they could blow the balance sheet up again if they were really worried and buying securities to push money into the system if people if the Fed was really worried about the economy. I, I don't I don't disagree with what you're saying. However, what I do think is happening here is the market is reacting emotionally to your point, John. The, they've moved away from fundamentals. They seem to have a very short attention span. Fan, and they're chasing shiny objects. It's a dangerous place for the market to be. Well, in terms of the, the Fed removing money, Gary B., from the system, you know, a lot of these securities, even well-known stocks and bonds, have become harder to trade, and that's kind of an indication of money being pulled out of the financial system. I don't want to sound like the nerd that I am deep down, but that's a concern. <laughs> but I want to ask you this. I'm going to put it on the spot. How much of the market sell-off may be or the added worries is in relation to the Mueller report and the Mueller report yep. potentially coming out. I, rem I remember back before the Ken Starr report was released in 1998. Now, granted, that was when long-term capital management, the hedge fund, also collapsed. Mm -hmm. But the S&P, between mid-July and when the Starr report came out in September, the S&P 500 fell more than 19 percent in that period. Now, it did recover even during impeachment proceedings by the end of November. How much of the worry in the market is in relation to what's happening in Washington. I'm glad you brought that up. I, yeah, I, that's what I was going to add 
You know, amongst the other things that we're worried about, exactly that, this Mueller investigation, we don't know what they will or he will um, invariably uh, uh, uncover, who will be indicted, who will get off. Does this lead directly back to the president? Can he be uh, put on the stand, indicted, impeached? No one knows. And if we go down that road, Oh my gosh, you know, then I would say to people, I'm not sure you want to be in the market right now. I mean, maybe when he's finally, you know, put on the stand and we have a, a, a clear, if he is, uh, uh, we have a clear sense of what direction the government's going to go, then you start buying. But you're absolutely right, Dick. And I would say of the things we talked about, the tariffs, the, um, uh, uh, the Fed and the Mueller investigation, I would say this is at least, the, the latter is at least 30, 40 percent of my concern. Wow. All right, you got the final word here. Y'all are back next hour. John gets the first question. I promise him that. Gary <laughs> B., thank you so much, John Layfield, Dan Geltrude. From the shakeup on Wall Street to the shakeup in Washington, what's ahead?